By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how the current TikTok algorithm works so that you can increase the amount of views and the amount of followers that you're currently getting on TikTok because you need to understand something. The TikTok algorithm has just changed and this is a warning for a lot of you because I see so many of you guys are losing views, not gaining as many followers as you have been and this is quite unfortunate because it is easier to grow on TikTok right now than it ever has been before. In fact, I just helped this creator gain 500,000 followers in just 30 days. This creator, a quarter million followers in just 30 days and this creator, over 100 100,000 followers in just 30 days and the only thing these people are doing different than what you're currently doing right now is they're paying attention to the strategies that I'm about to share with you that are going to tell you exactly how to crack the TikTok algorithm so you could get more views and more followers. For starters, you need to change the content that you're, you're creating, the sounds that you're using, how long your videos are, and even the color of the text that you're putting on your videos. But before I can share all that with you, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on TikTok, YouTube, or Instagram, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it link in the pinned comment below. It's gonna share with you things like the best time to post on TikTok and what hashtags you should be using because unfortunately, I'm not gonna have time to cover those things in this video. In addition to that, shoot me a text message right here here, I want to help you grow on TikTok. In fact, I want to guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. So please shoot me a text message, ask me any questions that you have. I cannot wait to help you grow. So right now there are essentially four different types of posts that you need to be creating on TikTok in order to be successful. And all of this comes back to how the current TikTok algorithm works, which I'm about to explain to you in just a second. But first we need to go over these four pieces of content. The first one, general trends that are happening on TikTok. For example, this post is trending right now where you're in the car, you have the locked up sound playing, and then you're also saying something that'll be illegal. Or this one where you're running away from somebody. Both of these things are trending right now and they're trending no matter what niche you're in. These are the broad trends on TikTok and you can find these broad trends trends incredibly easily by just swiping the For You page and you'll see the same video show up over and over and over again. Or maybe the same sound show up over and over and over again. Those are the broad trends on TikTok and you need to make sure that you're participating in those. The second thing you need to make sure you're doing, participating in the trends that are actually going on within your niche. This creator right here has gained over 500,000 followers in the credit niche by making sure that he's staying on top of what topics are actually popular within that niche. And you need to do the same exact thing in your niche. You guys need to understand something. The topic that you actually actually choosing your content is going to dictate why you get views. A lot of you have seen a sharp decrease in the amount of views that you're currently getting and it's because the topics that you're choosing to create videos about are not as good as they once were or not as good as they used to be. You need to understand, it doesn't matter if you have a million followers. 10 million followers or 10 followers. When you upload a video to TikTok, you are eligible to get the amount of views based on the actual interest in that content. Now, of course, if you have a million followers or 10 million, your baseline is going to be higher. So if it's a video that TikTok does not have an audience for, you might get a couple thousand views just because you have millions of followers. But if you upload a video and you have 10 followers, 100, 1,000, 10,000, and it's not something TikTok clearly has an audience for, or it's something that doesn't hit the metrics I'm gonna share with you in just a little bit, you will not get a lot of views. Now, this is contrary to how TikTok worked in the past where they would literally show your videos to anybody no matter how good your metrics were or no matter how big of an audience there was for that piece of content. But this has completely changed because the TikTok algorithm has changed. So you need to make sure that you're doing this. In addition, you need to make sure that you're doing the two other post types we're about to talk about, which are reposts, which are things that have done well on your account before, and then you recreate them or you repost them. And that brings me to the next piece of content, which is recreating things that have already been successful on your account. If you create a video about a certain topic, and that video does well, you need to continue to create videos about that topic. Do a part two, do a part three, do a part four, create a longer video, create a shorter video. Once a topic works and you know that TikTok is pushing that out, that's when you need to strike, that's when you need to take advantage. But I will warn you, just creating videos about the right topic, it's not enough. You also need to make sure that you're hitting the three metrics that I'm about to share with you because these are by far the most important things. And if you ignore these things, you're not going to grow on TikTok right now. You're not going to get views on TikTok right now. And in fact, you might even see your views start to decline because I'm telling you guys, this is the easiest time ever to grow on TikTok if you're implementing the tips that I'm sharing with you. I just told you exactly what kind of content you need to be creating and where you could find it. And now we need to actually talk about the backend analytics of the content that you're gonna be creating that you need to be paying attention to and optimizing for to make sure that your videos actually get shown. Because you can make the best video in the world, but if it doesn't hit the metrics I'm about to share with you, it will not take off. 
Now, before I dive into that, I need to make sure that you understand something else, which is that TikTok actually cares about the aesthetics of your videos and how they actually look. If you're creating videos that aren't formatted for TikTok or your text is halfway off the screen, TikTok is not going to push your content because at the end of the day, you're not giving the viewer on TikTok a good experience and TikTok knows that. So obviously they're not going to be pushing out your content. This also goes for creators that have text that actually has no contrast to the background of their video or text that is then covered by the description or text that is totally random and doesn't actually add to the video. You need to make sure that you're adding keywords into the actual text to help you rank for SEO. You need to make sure that there's contrast and please make sure you take the time to actually determine whether or not the text is going to show on the screen because if it doesn't, TikTok will suppress your content. And that's because of how the TikTok algorithm actually works, which again is an interest-based app that is only focused on keeping people happy and keeping people on the app. That is the only thing it wants. I literally just got off the phone with my dad and he was bragging to me about how he spent five hours on TikTok, didn't eat, didn't even notice that the time passed. Well, I can promise you that all the creators whose content he watched, they're going to get more views because of the simple things that I'm about to share with you. Before we get into that, you need to understand the interest-based algorithm that TikTok is actually employing, the interests and whether or not people are interested in your content means so much right now. I cannot emphasize that enough. I literally get hundreds of emails, hundreds of comments a day that say, Rob, how come my videos don't take off like they used to? It's because of the actual topic of the content that you're choosing. A lot of you guys are niching down way too much. A lot of you are going way too broad. If you do either of those things, you're not going to be successful. One of the things you should be doing is thinking about how you can combine your niche with another niche or combining your format with another niche. That is what's actually going to make you successful. It's going to broaden out the amount of people that you're eligible to get views from, and it's going to increase both the amount of views and the amount of followers that you're currently getting from your content if you couple that strategy with the thing I'm about to share with you. And that's optimizing for one, how much watch time you're getting, two, your completion rate, and three, whether or not you're actually making the people that are watching your content happy. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, how on earth does TikTok know whether or not people are happy after watching my content? Well, there are two things that they're checking for. One, whether or not people swipe away from the app or get off the app after they watch your video, and two, whether or not people are following you or sharing your video after watching your video. I see so many of you still adding a call to action that trying to get people to like, trying to get people to comment. These are the worst things that you could possibly do on the app. You need to be getting people to follow you. You need to be getting people to share, but more importantly, they need to be completing your videos and you need to be getting a high amount of watch time. In fact, every single one of you watching this video right now should aim for 100% watch time and at least 50% of people completing your videos. You need to make sure that you're hitting these metrics. I'm telling you, if you're not hitting these metrics, then you're not going to get the views that you want. Now you're probably wondering, Rob, but what about a five second video against a 10 second or 30 second or two minute video? The longer the actual video, the less watch time you need, but every single one of you should be aiming to reach 100%. If you're able to reach 100%, your post will go viral, you will get more views, you will get what you want out of TikTok. But if you're not able to hit that, then TikTok is not going to give you what you want because at the end of the day, you're not giving TikTok what it wants. As a reminder, the TikTok algorithm cares about three things. One, whether or not there's an audience for your content. Two, the analytics that I just shared with you and three, whether or not you're actually keeping people on the app. If you're able to accomplish those three things, you're going to get more views, more followers, and make more money from TikTok than you could have ever imagined. Now that being said, if you want to get guaranteed growth on TikTok, like all the creators that I've shared with you in this video, then you need to keep watching this video because I'm going to share with you exactly how I can tell you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. If that sounds interesting, then keep watching this video. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach is not going to last forever. And the only thing separating you from the creators that I mentioned in this video is one, that you haven't implemented the steps from this video yet. And two, you haven't gotten into my mentorship program where I literally guarantee that I can help you grow on TikTok. If you register for this program, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, and I'm gonna critique your content for 30 days in order to guarantee that you grow on TikTok. You heard that right. If you don't grow on TikTok in this program, you get your money back, zero questions asked. The average person that has joined the program in the last 30 days gained over 50,000 followers and and the lowest amount of followers anybody has ever gained in their program is 6,500 followers. If you want results like that, and I'm guessing that since you're still watching this video, you're probably above average, so you probably see more than 50,000 followers in just 30 days, no matter what niche you're in, no matter what background you're from, none of that stuff matters. The only thing that matters is you need a social media coach. You need somebody telling you what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use, so that you get results faster and you get results a lot easier. If that sounds interesting, go to the link in the description below. There are limited spots available and the price is gonna be going up in 2022, so please make sure you check this out. This is the 
same exact program Joel Magician used to gain over 16 million followers, that AvMoves used to gain over 14 million followers, that Tuvok used to gain over 10 million followers, and thousands of other creators. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in. I'm telling you guys, this opportunity is not going to last forever. If you want to take advantage of TikTok, you need to invest in this before the price goes up, before there are no spots available, so that you can guarantee that you grow on TikTok. At the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing to lose. You're either going to grow on TikTok or you are going to get your money back. Zero questions asked. Go to the link in the description and sign up right now before spots run out. And by the way, if you're not interested in that, just check out the two videos I'm going to put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.